What's up you guys? So this is part three of the radio slash speaker install slash amp and sub install. So I'm fixing to run the power wire with the fuse right here from the battery. Do the little grommet over here. Oh. Do a little grommet. So oh, I'm a, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this piece up first real quick. Set this up, which is real simple. You literally just strip this back. You back this little screw up, and then you stick this down in there with, you have this piece, little grommet, and this piece to seal it, so it makes it watertight, basically, so you can have it out in the engine bay, which is where it needs to be. You need to have this as close as you can to your battery, just in case anything were to happen, your fuse will pop before anything else were to catch on fire or anything were to be damaged. So I'm going to do that real quick. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna, I found this little grommet. So there's a little grommet down in here. I'm going to run this power wire through a little grommet down inside the car. Once I get to that point, I'm going to get back with y'all and show y'all how I run it through the rest of the car. So I'll be back with y'all here in a bit. All right, y'all. So I'm actually doing this kind of in a sketchy way just because I don't have a pair of strippers big enough for this. So what I'm doing is I'm literally just rolling this cable on a razor blade to cut through the outside insulation so that I can take it off. Just a little bit more. And just like that. So got that stripped. So you literally just twist this up, makes it more compact to fit into this. So before I mess up, right, so yesterday I was doing this and I messed this piece up. I had to literally take it apart like three or four different times. So you put this piece on first, cause that's your cover. You put this piece on facing outward cause this steals the outside. So you put that like that, put that inside. So once you do that, you put that in there. So I got my little handy dandy tool right here. I guess a little, what is this? A little three millimeter Allen. So you literally just back the screw up. So you see that? You back that little screw out right there. So that, what that does, that bites into the wire right here. So once you stick your wire through like that, hold it in place and you tighten this up. And don't have to be like crazy tight, which I do have a ratchet over there, but just like that, it has enough to bite onto it. So literally just hand tight with this with this in your hand. It's more than plenty. So once you have that done, you slide this back. You literally just seal it. Make sure that's nice and snug. Make sure that side's nice and snug. And there you go. So now you got your power cable with your fuse in there. And once I'm done with that. I just do this, something like that. I'm not gonna connect with the power just yet, but it's gonna be somewhere around in there and somewhere along the lines of that. So that's literally just gonna get ran down the side. Um, for right now, it's gonna get ran down the side just because the engine bay is kind of ugly. I'm, I wanna redo this eventually one day. So for the time being, since no one's really gonna ever see this, I'm literally just gonna run it down the side like that and have it like that. There we go. Dusty down in there. There we go. So, I'm gonna run that something like that. I'll probably end up zip tying this like up here just so it doesn't, you know, get hot with everything else to, inside the engine bay. So, yeah. So now I have the issue with I have to run this through the grommet. So I'm gonna run this through the grommet. I'm probably gonna need a second set of hands down inside. So for right now, there's the grommet down in here. So I'm gonna have to run this, this cable wire, down through that little grommet in there inside to the inside of the car. All right, y'all, now the hard part is done. I literally had to go inside, run inside, grab a hanger, literally just dismantled a hanger and tape the, uh, tape the wire to it right here with a piece of electrical tape and cut, like made the front of it. So I wouldn't damage anything with the hanger and just poked it through that grommet down in here. So now I got my wire ran all the way across. I'm out of breath. Ooh, tired myself out. Okay, so wired my grommet across. Why my grommet? Ran my wire across, ran it through the grommet. So now I'm inside of here. Oh, okay. So now I'm up to this point. So I got this cable, this cable, and I got my power wire. 
So all three of these, which I'm literally just gonna run right here. Seems like right here the fuse box. Where the fuse panel is right here. There's a little space where I can run it right through here and then run it right up under this trim piece. So literally this trim piece just pops off just like that, that easy. And I can just run all my wires right through here, right up under the carpet. So I'm gonna do that and then run it all through here, all three of these. I gotta run these up above actually, up above the steering column so they're out of the way, out of the pedals of way. Probably gonna zip time up out of the way. Run them through here and then run them all up under here, all the way to the back. Oh, don't mind my boots, my work car. Run them all the way right through here, up under this panel right here. And then it should go right into the trunk. So once I get to the trunk area, I'll show y'all how to hook everything up. Basically, you got your power wire right through. Just like that. So I ran my cables up under here. It's all it's up under the dash. I need to zip tie it out of the place, but for right now, I'm not too worried about it just because it's out of the way. So I ran it right here. Luckily, my carpet actually has like this cool little, almost like a little raceway right here that I can run all my cables through. So literally, I just pulled this up. It's literally as easy as just pulling it up. There's already a harness down in here. So all I had to do was just tuck it in there and do that. Just like that. So right here, I pulled this little trim piece off to run my cables down through here. You can see the blue and the red cable down through there. And I got them right here. So from right here, I'm gonna run them under this trim piece and then back behind this, because this goes straight into the trunk up here. Back there, it goes straight down into the trunk. So once I run them through here and I'm into the trunk, I'll show y'all once it comes out over, it should come somewhere up here. Somewhere up here on the top. It should come out. So then back after that, I can run the cables back behind this piece and tidy it up however I want. Everything I need back here finally in the trunk. I'm literally just gonna hook it up right now just because I want to hear it because we're, we're actually on a little time crunch. Um, so I'm gonna just strip this real quick. And once I'm done with this, then I'm just gonna hook everything up. Hear it. See what it sounds like. So I've got my white is always um, round. So that's the left side. I'm just gonna do that. This one's already got prongs on it. From whoever I owe from my friend that I bought it for before. Over at work. That makes life really easy. So I got those two bridged. Got my remote, got that. All I need is my ground, which I have my ground cable. So, ground, right here. Need to ground it somewhere to the chassis which I could probably do right around here for right now, just for a quick second, just to hear this thing. Yeah, no, I gotta strip it this way again. I know it's kind of sketch, but that's what I'm working with right now. So, strip. Get a nice ground cable. I'm gonna run that down in here too. Just like that. So got all those ran just like that. I want you to look at that. There's a bolt right here. Perfect little ten ten mil right here. That's not a ten. It's an eight. <laughs> we are not professional with you people. No, it's too small. I need a long eight. Drats. I don't think I have an eight in here. Dang it, man. <laughs> the one thing I need is an eight. There we go. We just wrapped it around it. It'll be okay. Okay. Tell me if anything starts smoking back here. <laughs> No. Nothing? I don't think so. All right, well, um, let me see my keys, please. All right, let me. <laughs>
Let me turn on the radio. What about the blue wire? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're so smart. I'm glad you were paying attention. Oh, we have power back here. Power wires on. I lost ground. No. It's sparking. Yeah, probably not the best idea to be doing it like this. Hold on. I think it's turned down. Already. Hey, it worked. <sighs> it took a while to do that, but yeah. All right, see y'all. I will be making another video soon.